Hey YouTube, I've got a review today. It's a tiny little thing, fairly cheap. Uh, interestingly, this was sent to me for review, not a sponsored video. I'm free to say whatever I like about it. I haven't even opened it yet. Uh, it's the Andy Cine AQRP03 quick release plate. So I normally use this type of uh, Arca Swiss lock on tripods with cameras. I've got a little mini table tripod to do this with so you can see rather than using the big one. Uh, and the thing about these is you pop them on, let me just see if I can show you this, and then you secure them with the screw here to tighten up against the, the plate. And it's like that, it takes a few seconds, not a big deal, then a few seconds to take it off if you're going to move the camera somewhere, and you're done. So, cool, all good, very standard, but the quick release plate is meant to be a time saver. So you have two parts. Let me open this up now. So I'm going to do an unboxing. <laughs> unboxing. Basically I'm going to pull everything out. So let's have a look. Um, we get some kind of stupid card. Don't know what that is. Instructions in multiple languages about the warranty. Yeah, thank you for choosing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, and then we have two little things in here which I really didn't know what they were for. Uh, I had to look this up. So little rubber bands that I'm going to show you close up. And then the unit itself. So let's see, we'll do some close ups on that for you. Uh, one thing I did notice with this when I was looking at it is the, the symbol here is very confusing. It makes it look like you push this to the side to lock and unlock. You don't, you press this unit in. So you press like this rather than push like that. And when you do that, the top comes off. So this becomes the base for the, uh, com not computer, for the camera. And that goes on the, uh, slips into the tripod. So let me put that in now. So once you've fitted this into your tripod, and it's a typical Arca Swiss plate or whatever they're called, is it Arca Swiss? That's now secure. So whenever I want to put the camera in, this will be on the camera. So let me just put that on. I'll just pause for a second while I put this in. And at this point, it becomes clear what these things are. They're actually a rubber seal that goes around the outer edge uh, of the plate. So they're, they're replacements. You get two of these. So now the idea is when you're going to put this on the tripod, pop it on, push the buttons in, and it's locked. It's now locked into place. So that was literally one second to take it off, uh, one second to put it on, yeah, that feels pretty good. Let me just test something. This is a big heavy Z6 with a Viltrox 85mm lens. That's pretty solid, I have to say. So let me show you again. So you've got these little uh, release plates. It's literally push and, and on and off and so on. That's, that's certainly quicker than using the normal kind of plate like this that will screw in. So as far as I'm concerned, that's certainly a time saver. How long uh, it will last, the longevity of the device, the quality and so on, I don't know for sure, because uh, I haven't used it for months on end. What I can say uh, is that it's metal, it feels well made. There are multiple screw holes here so that you can attach it to various mounts, not just tripods. I'm not sure whether you'd need to do that particularly. I suppose you could put it on a lighting stand, something like that, if you wanted to. Uh, and then we've got this, this spring-loaded thing. I don't know how long those springs will last. That's something that I can only determine over time. Uh, but in terms of what its purpose is for, it seems to work. It's quicker once it's on. Let me just put that on. Uh, if you had multiple cameras, you'd have to buy multiple of these units. I don't know if you can buy this uh, bottom plate here on its own. If you can, that would be good, because then you'd only need a single one of these. Um, but just let me see that again. It's a, what, a second, and it's mounted. Second to take it off. That's pretty quick, so I, I quite like that. I quite like that. I know there are more expensive ones. Um, I did get this for free to review. And by the way, if anybody else wants to send me something free, so Zeiss, or Leica, or Tamron, or Sigma, Canon, Nikon, Fuji, Panasonic, anybody, please, please, because uh, <laughs> that's the first one I've been sent to review. 
uh, for the channel so that's pretty cool but as I say it's not sponsored this is my personal opinion I've just tried it now and for a simple little device I think it's quite cool I'll use it when I use the tripod I normally shoot handheld you'll see in my other channel which I'll be starting soon for street photography uh, and when I do start it I'll make a video about that so you can know um, I'll be using that when I use the tripod but normally I will be using this handheld I'd probably leave that on it's not really in the way uh, if you're putting this down somewhere of course it's going to tip forward slightly because of the the way the weight's distributed um, but I think you could leave that on safely all the time so that whenever you're ready it's just that one second and you're done and uh, as I said I felt very brave to do that with a big heavy camera um, but it held the weight so that's fine pretty good any questions let me know and I hope you'll hit the bell subscribe and all that good stuff and I'll see you on the next video bye now